Well, uh, good, good question. Uh, I retired from my uh, government career in um, May, so I'm looking um, um, uh, for what I'm gonna do uh, in the future. And one of uh, friends of mine, Go Events, is uh, one of my friends that we used to play tennis before. And they created a company that does uh, the logistics for the big um, TV stations. So I found it interesting, and I came to see here because they wanted to um, want me to. They want me to join their company as a partner. So that's why I'm here to negotiate with them how we're gonna proceed and uh, what's all about to get more an idea um, of this uh, of this part of the of the business. And that looks very interesting and very a lot of potential. So I think uh, I'm gonna jo I'm gonna join uh, join their team. And I think it's it's a good it's a good market. Plus it's sports. It's easier it's easier for me to uh, communicate and see and uh, see where you can improve and uh, things you can add, uh, find a product, new things. So it's perfect. Yeah, all of them uh, great, uh, great memories. Each time to play in Paris, Bercy, it doesn't matter, Rangaros, it's uh, it's unique uh, feeling. And uh, every time and you play Bercy, it's like the, um, you have a sense of uh, uh, of uh, good good vibe with the people, with the crowd. With the, it's autumn in Paris, very nice. It's like a unique atmosphere, and that's why I played a lot and love to play there. And uh, I was lucky to play good there and very comfortable. So, very special moment and very special atmosphere, I think. I guess Paris, autumn, and the last tournament of the year, it makes all of it special. Yeah, it's the, the most, uh, that's the, th the thing that I regret the most because I had so many opportunities to win the, the tournament and al always I managed to lose. Uh, yeah, well, I was young and too stupid, so I had all the support, I was playing great and always I managed to, uh, to destroy my, uh, my dream. Well, just... Uh, I must say, uh, I don't know how I end up that the people they start to like me uh, because I was pretty arrogant in some moments and I was not behaving the the right way and the, the French people are really nice to me. That's uh, and actually it was surprised me that even though I was behaving like an idiot on the court, breaking rackets and everything, they were they're really supporting me. So they were surprised uh, because uh, French public is very uh, very special one, and uh, they understand sports really good. They are very sportive people, the French, and uh, to be able to gain uh, respect from uh, from people, I think that's the most the most incredible feeling I ever uh, ever had. I couldn't explain why and. Um, I'm just surprised and I'm really happy for that because, um, like I said, French crowd is very unique. Uh, first of all, generation changed. Uh, we don't have facilities in Russia to be able to, <coughs> to practice well and perform well and uh, to start your career in, te in tennis. And because there is no facility, there is no coaches, there is no uh, 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 doctors, there is no um, right uh, uh, recovery center, rehabilitation centers. Nothing, nothing is actually is done. So uh, not many people they really have opportunity to get out of Russia because it's cost some money and that to be able to to practice outside. Because whoever achieved something in tennis in Russia, they've all been, 95% uh, of the people, they've been created in, a in a Europe or states outside of Russia. And the only person and only uh, people who really uh, achieved what they achieved from Russia, it was uh, Yuzhny and Dementieva. But Dementieva, at some moment, she also practiced outside. So it's only Yuzhny who practiced in Russia. So it's the only guy who managed. So it's, I think it's, it's very low percentage. And um, so not really, I don't see many changes in that, in, uh, in that direction. That's why, we, that's why we don't have anybody. It's all split up, uh, it's all split out. Uh, 
I would give a prize to uh, to Rafa. Why? Because uh, Roger is is great. Uh, Roger, for him, tennis is easy, pure talent. Uh, Rafa is pure work. So if you compare pure talent to uh, hard work, uh, even uh, Rafa he was getting injured, and for him, tennis is tougher than for Roger. So I would pick Nadal in this scenario. I admire, uh, I respect Roger incredibly, but admire uh, uh, Rafa what 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 he achieved and how he maintains his level, even though tennis is not so easy for him.